this week in nerf it's the final this week in nerf of the year so there's a lot i want to talk about let's see if uh if we can fit it into 10 minutes or so i'm jangle and this is your source for first party third party and community nerf news like i said this is the final episode of the year and uh it's pretty cool to me we've made it through just about a year of the show maybe maybe three quarters of a year but a lot has happened and i was kind of thinking about that and maybe that would be the first couple things we talk about is how the hobbies progressed in the last year or so through 2017 and really we've kind of seen just the continuation of third party growth in terms of supporting the hobby and that to me is absolutely fantastic i mean we're getting all kinds of products from resin casted parts to replace the orange pieces throughout your blaster or uh multiple lines of motors to do whatever you want to accomplish whatever goal you have in terms of torque rpm uh what kind of battery you want to use all these kinds of things uh metal machined parts whether it's uh custom pieces to put in things like your caliburn or uh specter nerf is doing some uh machined xb uh, xbz tubes uh, uh plunger tubes next year it's just all kinds of really really cool things that i am so excited for and i sorry i said plunger tubes uh, air tanks is what i meant for the xbz thing uh but just all kinds of these really really cool things are happening in the hobby and i absolutely love it it's this growth and this continued innovation and, and new products whether they're niche or broad appealing it continues to show me and, and the rest of the community that this hobby has legs it has room to grow more and more and more and bring new people in more people in and just continue to be a wonderful place for all of us and on that on, on that note of, of continued innovation and more growth and things like that we've seen more and more of a rise of 3d printed blasters uh the caliburn continues to be updated uh recently getting an entire rail system that i am super excited to get my hands on because it's going to allow me to more easily uh put both my sight and my gimbal on the top of the blaster that's super awesome and more importantly for the average user it is going to help align the two halves of the blaster even better which is great so i love that not only is it providing more function but it's also adding a little bit to the form and it's just these kinds of things we, we've seen the fdl2 get revisions to it and upgrades changes to the way it functions and some aesthetic changes in addition to a stock and the front portion so We've got that, and then we have Blaster Forge stepping into the 3D printed blaster field with things like the Micro, uh, the Aurora, the Fenestrator, and uh, and even more. That guy is just working hard, and I'm really excited to actually get my hands on the Micro uh, because I think that's another Springer entry that could be somewhat interesting, and I am very curious to give that a go. But I just love that we are seeing more and more blasters this year and going forward into 2018 complete blasters or shells that people can work with so that things feel even more unique and interesting when you show up to a game think about if you're a new person showing up to a game and all you've known is the official nerf branded hasbro stuff and maybe some dart zone stuff or, or a different you know uh second party brand or something like that and you see people running around with Caliburns, with FDL2s, with uh, Blaster Forge Micros, with uh, Exus 2s, with all kinds of stuff that you've never seen before. That's going to get you interested and hyped about the hobby, and that gets me excited because it means more growth and better. Uh, just, just, it's all around better for our community. So. I just, I'm just really excited and really happy with kind of how. 2017 has progressed in terms of a year of growth for the nerf hobby and it really has me excited for where we're gonna go in 2018 i know i've got plans for 2018 a lot of people have plans for 2018 so i cannot wait to see them happen and see where things progress from there now despite all my excitement i need to talk about something i i hate i hate talking about things that could be perceived as negative or problems or things like that and i hate doing it multiple weeks in a row but it is important to me to share the news with you and things that may affect your decisions or inform you 
Uh, and one of those things is last week we talked about an issue with the Eclipse cages that was remedied uh, and wasn't really as much of a problem for those as most wouldn't even have known it was an issue once they bought their cage. But we have another Eclipse cage, uh, Eclipse QC issue, quality control, and this time not with the cage but with the wheels. Some number of the wheels uh, did not have the shaft holes drilled properly. So they don't fit in straight. Like they're not perpendicular. They're kind of, some of them are at a slight angle, it would seem. And it doesn't take much because the tolerances in this system are so tight to get the performance that it, it, it needs uh, that that little bit off causes some wobble within the wheel and then the wheel can actually make contact with the cage and that has caused some motors to actually stall out and die because of the resistance uh, or something along those lines and uh, it's definitely an unfortunate issue but the good news is that OFP got right on top of it and is replacing any wheels that have this issue and uh, for the next production run I would assume this will not be uh, this will be something that will be rectified and looked into. But if you picked up an Eclipse cage and you haven't put yours together yet, put the wheels and the motors and all of that, when you do, make sure to check your wheels by hand, spin them by hand, and if you see the wheel wobble, then you know you, you likely have a wheel that is not properly drilled. And you should contact OFP or your retailer uh, to take the next steps to get you a proper wheel to replace that uh, because nobody wants to burn out a motor especially if you're running like some, some new Neo Hellcats or something that they aren't exactly on the cheaper end of motors you never want to have to lose out on stuff when you don't have to so that's something that it's unfortunate that it's happening but it is happening I will provide some links to uh, actually some Instagram posts from Hawkeye who had this issue he talks through kind of what's happening it actually shows you what's happening as he spins his wheel by hand and why it's causing the issue. So you can get a better visual idea of what's going on. But I'm glad, regardless, that OFP has got on top of it quickly and is replacing the wheels and uh, remedying the issue. Uh, so that is important to note that despite the fact this is happening, there are remedies in place and they are going to take care of any issues just in case you do run into them. Uh, now let's uh, move on from that. Now, something else I want to talk about is two companies, Liberty Foam Designs and Pages Big League Blasters. Now if you've been paying attention, you know that these names are two of the groups that picked up the Turf Springs IP when it was uh, shut down over in Australia and they have been leading the charge to get that back up and running here in the US. And they've decided that they should go ahead and merge their two businesses and they will be turning into a single company by the name of Foam Freaks. Uh, now, the complete relaunch should happen by February, but they still will be working uh, and offering designs through the Liberty Foam Designs Etsy. Uh, th the most interesting thing to me is, of course, the fact that Turf Springs will be a line under this company's brand. And I know... Tur Springs is a big name. We've talked about it a couple times since the uh, since the company went and closed overseas, and uh, they've picked it up here, which is fantastic. So I I'm very curious to see how that launches. I believe they're working on three different springs currently, and they will be offering more. They're just getting things started, and uh, they actually said that they'll be working on some other things in the future I don't have any details on, but I'm definitely curious and wanted to share that with all of you. Now, I don't have a mod of the week or a video of the week this week because I wanted to take a little bit of time and talk about the future of the show. I love doing this show. It's a lot of fun to be able to share the news with all of you, and I have no intention to stop. But I do want to make it better. I want to find ways to make it better. So moving forward, I may be trying some things. You may notice some new things, some different things. And if you do, I really would appreciate any feedback you have. Leave it in the comments when you see something new. Um, that's going to help me kind of decide and gauge whether or not what I tried was successful or not. 
Uh, I have a few ideas, some things may be gradually changing. You may see some big changes here and there, but regardless, the thing I want to emphasize here is that every Saturday, I will be trying to bring you the new uh, the nerf news as best as I can. That is that is something that I have been enjoying doing this year and really glad that I started doing it and that all of you have uh, been along for the ride in it. Now, uh, yeah, I I'm excited. I'm excited to try and better and improve this show to make it the best that it can be and continue to grow this channel to be the best nerf channel that it can be. Um, I think, I think that's going to do it for 2017 this week in nerf. Yeah. Uh, it's been a cool year. Let me know actually in the comments, what was your favorite part of nerfing in 2017? Your favorite product, your favorite event, your favorite, anything related to nerf. Let me know in the comments and let me know what you thought of uh, the other things, the eclipse, uh, wheel issues, Liberty Foam Designs and Pages Big League Blasters turning into Foam Freaks and launching the Turf Springs line, uh, the rise of the 3D printed blasters, and all the third party growth. Let me know your thoughts on all of this down below. And if you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button for more in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.